Hello dears, another day, another video. Uh, it has been quite a while before I gave a second update on my garden. So today I'm going to give you uh, another another garden update and see how is my garden doing. Ah, uh, and my dogs found a chicken. Uh, can you guys leave her alone? Leave her alone. Oh God. Yeah, it's a battle between my dogs and my chicken all the time. So we closed up the pool. Like you can see, we gave up. This year we're not gonna open it up. Uh, since I'm, me and my husband and I are going abroad to travel for a month, we just thought uh, maybe next year, we'll see. So I spread the plant a little bit because they're getting quite bigger. So this is one of my tomato plants. The tomatoes on these plants are huge, absolutely gigantic, but uh, nothing changed from the last time. Only three tomatoes. There are some flowers in here uh, still coming up. Let's see if they bear more tomatoes. Then my eggplants are amazing. I had already five, six harvests from each plants and more eggplants coming, more flower buds looking amazing. This one is a determinate variety. So once it's done ripening this tomato, and this plant will die down and it started ripening and the plant is absolutely loaded uh, with tomatoes. And that's my okra. Uh, I already had a few harvests from the okra. I had quite many in the house. So this is my uh, jalapeno peppers. This is my uh, yellow peppers, uh, uh, serrano peppers. These are my bell peppers. Look at it, absolutely loaded with bell peppers this is my serrano peppers over here the bug damage was quite big from the last time i showed the caterpillar but now it's recovering and doing better and this is my habanero pepper plant <laughs> more habanero than i could ever dream of it's full every branch is full of habaneros Oh yeah, I have another bell pepper plant over here. It's hidden by these tomato plants. You know what? I'll just pull it out so you can get the sunlight that it needs to ripen the peppers. There you go. Huge, huge peppers. And this is um, my Japanese shishito pepper. Do you remember last time I showed you my Tabasco had more uh, leaves and branches than fruit? Look, my Tabasco peppers finally started coming in on this plant too, this Tabasco pepper also. Lots of chilies. Basil is doing amazing. The pasting tomato plants, same situation. I have only a few tomatoes. The plant is huge, but there is no flowers, no blossom, no new growth upsetting yeah, right here I have my um, white eggplant as you can see there's this small I don't know bugs that are literally sucking the nutrient from my eggplants and they brown up and then they die uh, I bought a powder I think I'm going to uh, put it on my plant today more habaneros or bombay morich like you call it and the eggplant also uh, I had several several harvests from this plant and there's more flowers every day more than I can count off my red robins my small tomato plant the tomatoes are also ripening and then I have here my Malabar spinach I already had three harvests and I ate it delicious as usual then it's my white eggplant this one don't have many much uh, bug damage this one is doing good uh, this is my cayenne pepper look at my cayenne peppers that's a lot of them my mint this is my lemon tree my Meyer lemon tree there's so many lemons can't wait for them to ripen up. My mint is gorgeous. 
is branching everywhere. All of my Thai chili peppers are um, blooming and still producing amazingly. And I already have some red peppers inside that are ready to harvest, that I will harvest soon. But look at the bad side of the garden. Look, all these tomatoes are ripened up and I was ready to harvest them. Literally, I came out this morning to harvest this and they are all eaten by squirrels. So much damage. It's really upsetting because I, you know, you work a whole summer behind these tomatoes and watering them and nurturing them. And then just one night for one squirrel or two to, you know, kill the whole harvest they could have potentially have. But what can you do? You lose and you win. So these are okra. This is almost ready to harvest. This one and that one over there. And then more Thai chilies. Like I said, they're bushing amazingly. This is my patio babies. Lots of eggplant. I always do good with eggplants every year. Uh, my bell pepper plant loaded. It started getting yellow. They started ripening up. So I can start harvesting soon. My water spinach. I already had four harvests for my water spinach and I gave away to friends and family, to my mother-in-law. Uh, we ate it a lot uh, and every two weeks I can harvest it because they grow so fast and if they just need water, that's all and a little bit of nutrient. This is my thyme. My thyme is going crazy. Like I said, I had this thyme for three years now and it's just dies in winter and come back in summer like it never went away beautiful and here I have shishito pepper more Thai chilies more okra this is my bitter melon I think I told you previously that I was upset because I did not have enough fruit and female flowers they were all male flowers they keep coming and dying I only had one right here which is actually ready to harvest and then I just got a new one the other day as you just see there you go so I have two so far but it's okay my mother-in-law the other day brought me so many berry melons uh, I think I'm gonna eat some I'm gonna freeze some we're good on that this is another tomato plant lots of growth uh, flowering but I don't know if I can have tomatoes from them because you know the season ends in August end of August September but it has so many tomatoes big big tomatoes um, my melon is ripening, so it's becoming a little yellow. When this is going to be all the way to the yellow, I'll be ready to harvest this one. And my cherry tomato plants, um, still branching, still growing. And these tomatoes, uh, they don't get red, they stay yellow. These are called Sweet 100. And um, they're very sweet. They're a hybrid variety. Basically, if you save seed from them next year, there's no guarantee you're gonna have this. Actually, 100% you're not gonna get the same variety of tomato. I come here, my husband come here, we just grab the small tomatoes and snack on them. My date tomato, my garden joy. They're ripening too. I already harvested it, I made pasta with it, I made a salad. And then finally, these tomatoes are much maturing and then they had more flowers but a caterpillar came, I don't know when, where. I couldn't find it to kill it. It was gone by the time I found out it ate all the new blooms, all the new growth. It just almost killed the plant. If I hadn't noticed at night, I think it would have been gone by then. More basil and my zinnias. And my other melon plants. Finally, I have some new melons on the plant. Let me show you. There you go. I have one right here. And then this one, it was so heavy, it was pulling down the trellis. So I tightened up with this net so it doesn't give all the weight to the plant, but the net can hold it. These are my elephant taros. They're doing magnificent as well. They suffer like all my plants from the drought, lack of rain and the extreme heat. Just yesterday it was 100 degrees, 102 degrees. Humidity of 70%, it's, it's crazy. This summer has been absolutely insane. It came early, 
the hottest summer so far and uh, we're tired, we just want some rain and some cold air to heat us as soon as possible. This is my lemongrass. Lemongrass does good in heat every year. Uh, I grow lemongrass and they do amazing. The, the, I think the hotter the better because they're a tropical, tropical plant. My fig tree also had uh, damages on it. You can see the yellow, the leaves were yellowing and falling. Same because of the lack of rain. Um, oh, look at this, a cicada. You know, cicada stay under the ground for many, 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 many years. And they come out, Wait, let me show you. This is an empty husk, they already came and went out of it. If my camera focus, focus. Bless you, baby. They already came and then left the husk. I'm sorry, I'm, I have my son strapped on me because if I go out, he wants to come out. He's gonna be with me all the time. I will show you my two other plants they have here on the side. My oregano is doing so so. It's not getting as big as I thought it would end of the year, but. It's fine because we don't eat that much oregano anyways. My chocolate mint is thriving. Same, the mint is gonna die in uh, winter and then come back in summer every year. They're perennials. My Asian chives, they will start flowering soon because end of summer they start flowering and come to seeds and they die back and they come back again in winter. How's my, how my chicken doing? chickens are you just doing okay i got eggs this morning fresh eggs every day and we try to eat for breakfast as much as we can but you know there's so much egg you can eat hi ladies hello ladies we have food yes you do i'll just give it a shake so it comes down okay all right that's all for my third garden tour thank you for being with me and until next time everyone please stay safe thank you for watching ভিডিও শেষে কিছু পিকচার আপলোড করে দিলাম আমার গার্ডেনের ফসলের তো যাই হোক অলসো একটা ট্র্যাপ কিনেছি র্যাড বা কাঠ বিরলির জন্য যেটাই ধরা পড়ে কিছু ধরা পড়েনি আসলে ট্র্যাপটা ওরা সাথে করে নিয়ে গিয়েছে অনেক পুরনো একটা ভিডিও আপলোড দিলাম নেক্সট টাইম আবার দেখা হবে ইনশাল্লাহ এভরিবাডি টেক কেয়ার